hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled of models guilt massive wake up calls and you guys i'm super excited for this if i had to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about if you had to choose between if you, if you could only pick one marriage or career which would you choose if you had to choose? Can, can we can, can we do that? Yeah. Can I add yeah. one thing? So is it so great, amazing career or beautiful, health, healthy yeah. family? Is that's, that, that's that's correct. That, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That was. If you had to choose, now you can have both in life, but if you could only pick one, I would say marriage. Marriage. Yeah, the healthy family. Family. Marriage. 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 And can I answer the other question? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I actually want to back him up on. You know, you're not really in your Thank prime you. once you turn 30. Um, I know I, I got married at age 23. I mean, I was pretty. I was an athlete. Um, married the wrong guy. Became obese. Um, Oof. Yeah. Not now, obviously. Um, but yeah, once I divorced him after I turned 30, the dating pool was vastly smaller. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you for Ooh. defending me. I could have used you a couple months ago. So <laughs> I'm, I'm in Phoenix. So No, I, that's right. We, we, sh we should talk. No, and I just, the last question that I'll ask is, I want you to think about it. If every single one of you said marriage, are you making deliberate steps every day to get closer to that goal? Or are you making steps to get closer to the career goal? Starting with you, go ahead. Hmm. Good question. Um, because I believe that in a marriage, since it is, you're coming together as a contractual agreement, I do want to provide to a certain extent, um, just in case my husband can't, I am going towards a career okay. at the moment. Hmm. No, and I, I, st I only ask just, and again, you don't have to go, we don't have to go on the horn. I think it's important though, to answer your question. Far too often, we do not tell young ladies, if you have to prioritize one more than the other, would you rather have your tombstone say, CEO of a shoe company or loving mother of three children and a wife? And if you would, and if you would rather have loving mother and, you know, of three children and a wife, then you should prioritize that more in your early 20s than your career or going to college. Because the tragedy is there are far more single early 30-something women in this country than married 30-something women in this country. It's, it's a, it's, the fertility true. rate's the lowest ever been, marriage rate's the lowest ever been, hmm. and it's because we tell young ladies you can wait forever to do this. And that's not, that's not the case for everybody. It's the case for some people, but not the case for everybody. And I think it's a tragedy. That's true. I think while even you have a family, you should. I'm trying here, man. E even when you have a family, you should still uh, have like. Uh, what happens when the kids are done and they graduate and they move on out of the nest? What What does a woman do then? Grandkids. Does woman just take well, care? Of, well, that's assuming that's that a your, really smart your question, though. To. In fact, we are doing everything the opposite. We should say focus on family formation in your early 20s, then go to college in your late 30s. Sure. But what if you? Because college will always be there. Or, no, no, that's a very fair point. Love and life come with a huge risk. You guys, I totally agreed with what Charlie Keck said right here. Because if more and more women are focusing more on having a family in their 20s, they're later on going to college in their 30s. You see that life will be so, so balanced for a lot of ladies. Because most ladies after high school, they go off to college and they start pursuing their careers. And at the end of the day, when the time comes for them to be married, they become too old for the market. And as a result of that, we have more single ladies than the married ones let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section that was really a good point charlie keck raised right there and i'm in total support of it you guys let's continue watching sure but the yeah. greater risk is dying alone but mm. i feel like we also have to acknowledge the fact that the one of the reasons why so many women don't want to prioritize marriage right now just straight out of your 18 let's work on getting married and having kids and then think about college is because college gives you so many opportunities that like you can focus and work on that directly. You come out of college, you have all these open doors. Whereas if you're 18 and you decide not to go to college because you want to prioritize a marriage, that can go wrong in so many other ways where you have no backup plan. Now you're 25 making minimum wage so much farther behind towards a marriage than the woman who already graduated college who has financial stability to be able to have kids and provide for her kids. So that's where like- That's, a fair, that. that's, that's a fair point. 
you could always go back to college. I'll reiterate that. However, that's not the problem in America. The problem right now, as it is, because the problem you're talking about was the problem in the 1960s, which is what Gloria Steinman said. If my husband left, I would have no way to feed myself. That was the core essence of her critique. Like, if my husband left, I would be having to go to get food stamps because I have no skills except being a stay-at-home mom, which, by the way, is like the most important thing ever, being a stay-at-home mom, but that's a separate issue. So, but right now in America, we've gone to the other extreme, which is you could delay it, you can delay it, you can have kids whenever you want, and we have 15 to 20 million single women in the yeah. country that um, mm. have great careers. And I feel like another reason why women right now, it's so hard for them to just prioritize having kids is because if you haven't gone to college, got that education, you don't have a husband who also is very financially stable, who is going to, who's going to provide for those kids? You know so, what I mean? Well, We're in times where it's so I, I don't, iffy. I don't, I don't, I don't sympathize with that argument as much. First of all, if you get married, by definition, your costs go down because you have two people then paying for rent, right? Or, or for a mortgage. So you can actually consolidate income. But studies actually show men earn more as soon as they get married and have children something primal kicks into us where we take a second job we work extra hours That's we true. figure it out men are actually very men are super simple women are very complicated men as long as we feel appreciated we feel noticed and we feel special and we see our role and our purpose we will go to the ends of That's the earth true. to feed our family we'll price. figure it out and i think we're underselling american men we say oh you know i, I wait until i'm 27 or 28 that's fine but look at the cost of that and the cost is Right now, just as we're clear, we are on pace 10 years out from now, we're going to have 20 million 40-something women that never got wow. married or have kids, but they have big apartments and they go on lots of, vac lots of vacations. And I, I also think that's one of the reasons we're seeing uh, the suicide rate, the anxiety problems, the depression problems in our country. Do you have a thought? Or yeah, I just feel like how many people that are like, or how many males are, that are 20 are like ready to get married and like ready to Great have a question. family? So the question is, which one leads which? Men, yes, but in the 1950s or 1960s, the time we're supposed to hate, young ladies looked at, it was my task to find a husband before the age of 25. And it was like the most important thing for them. Now that came with a lot of costs. Some people would say that it was handcuffs and you know being in prison. But if young ladies, first and foremost, no offense to my two Australian friends, got off of OnlyFans and stopped you know, posting naked pictures of themselves online and made themselves harder to get, men would step up to the plate. One of the reasons why men are grown infants is because women are so easy to get right now in America. There's, there's no desire, there's no hunt, there's no search. So you can be a grown infant and you can, you can get sex. When it used to be in 1950s, young women would be like, I'm not giving myself over to you. You're a man child. Like you don't even pay rent. You don't even, you have nothing yeah. going for you. When now, unfortunately, is the you case. can pay 10 bucks a month to go see a woman naked. No, no offense. To, well, actually kind of offensive, but Aren't that's a separate issue. Five bucks? But, yeah, thanks. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. But I'm just, I'm oh, saying yeah, that, that's okay. but to my OnlyFan friends here, do, do you think that, do you, you both want to get mar married, right, and have children? Yeah, of course. Do you yeah. think that you are more desirable or less desirable to a future husband when you post suggestive or naked pictures online? I think that we're entitled just as much as other people. No, you're totally entitled. You have freedom to do it. I'm asking yeah. a different question. Are you more... Are you more desirable or less desirable um, for a man? You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? And what are your thoughts on the question Charlie Kirk just asked? Do you guys think women are more desirable when they go half naked on the internet? Because there's nothing left of the imagination when it comes to what a man really wants. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And let's continue watching you guys. It's been the same for me. Like, I've always, like, received love the same way. And that's pretty like i didn't really receive it they all looked at me the same from the beginning how do you know how men look at you because the like I, when i talk to them like i usually fall head over heels for them and they all view me the same way so whether or not i'm doing only fans and selling my body or not doing only fans and selling my body i'm still like looked at the same way they still think that of me yeah, you don't know you don't know the male mind very well but they've already told me themselves like yeah, how men are really good liars mm -hmm. do you know that true then how could you know they're telling the truth I don't know. I just take their word for it. You just said they're good liars. Well, I don't know. I'd say a lot of the guys that I know are I've, more, I guess, the high, higher value type guys. And there's actually they don't take OnlyFans girls seriously. No, yeah, just yeah, we'll but never look some, at them for some marriage. people, some people actually do That's want exactly OnlyFans right. women and want to marry OnlyFans women and have kids with OnlyFans. Erroneous, <laughs> but very few. Erroneous. Well, but hold on. No, do you think those men are virtuous, high quality men that won't cheat on you? 
Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. It, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like. It doesn't sound like it, but it's actually really normalized in my area. Like no, the is, fact that it's normalized is not the point. The point is, is it good? Um, is it right to post suggestive pictures of yourself online, no. number one? And does it get closer to your goal of being married for the rest of your life with a soulmate not that not you love? Cool. I feel like, obviously, like, I want to get married. And obviously, like, I feel like if I was with a guy and he didn't accept my past, I wouldn't want to be with him. Not your past, if you're still doing it. If he, like, if if he you didn't quit, accept it, then... So Pizarre. let me ask you a hypothetical. If you met a man and he says, I'm earning two million bucks a year, would you quit OnlyFans? Okay, like that, yes. If they can make as much as I can, then yes, I'll So you quit. would quit OnlyFans? But if they're going to say, like, stop doing it, but they're not doing anything with their life, then no, I'm not going okay. to stop. Okay, so it's just purely financial for you? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Is, is, would you agree it's just purely financial for you? Literally, yeah. Okay, do you think that you have more to offer to the world than your body? Of course. Yeah. Then why don't you do that? Because, because we chose not to. Yeah. Because you chose, but I know. But do, do you, don't you think? I mean, we have more to offer, but we also want to be able to travel and explore. Okay. You know no. Now I mean? we're getting and somewhere. So you want a fun life? Yeah. A free yes. life. But okay. We can travel, like live our life, like young. Everything in life young. comes with a cost. Of course. And the cost for you is that your body will now be shared by tens of thousands of yeah. people, not just mm -hmm. your soulmate. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you feel a little bit of sadness that? You wish that your body would just be sold with your future, I mean, uh, shared with your future soulmate. I did have that mindset, and then like I feel like men actually changed me and turned me into this person. And who did? Like, a man? No, like oh, men in general. Like they just turned me into this person. I, I I didn't plan my life going this way. It was literally a one minute decision, and I thought I might as well. They all view me the same, so I'll just throw my life in and well, do it. Well, but I feel like if a man wants to be with me and love me for who I am, then so be it. But if they're going to judge me for what my what my work is and what I do, then I'm not going to let wow. them in my life. Right. So the, the judging is a separate issue. I'm just, do you, do you think the type of man you want, I imagine, is one that tells the truth and that is loyal to you? Yeah. That pool of men that you eventually want to have a family with, yeah. do you think they will look fondly upon only fangirls? Mm, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I could tell you as a man that we look so lowly on OnlyFans girls, it's the equivalent to digital prostitution. Yeah, that's your opinion. No, it's not. Really? It's it's the average Western Western male. I don't know if it's Wait, like... Wait, what is his opinion? I mean, it's not an opinion. It's, yeah, it's, it, is, it is factual that the average Western male looks at OnlyFans no different than an escort yeah. service that's delivered digitally. Well, isn't it just objectively true? And I'm not trying to attack either of you. I think you're both victims caught up in this terrible trend. I just want to ask you, have you thought deeply about how this might get you further from your goal, not closer to your goal? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have definitely thought about that. But like, when, like, yeah. I first started it, I was like, this comes with, like, consequences, though. So, mm -hmm. like, I obviously thought about it and was like, but I'm taking, I'm going to do this. And obviously, it's going to be harder to find a guy to marry, but I'm taking that wow. risk. Yeah, I've always thought about just taking the risk. And I've always been like a risk taker. I don't really care about what anyone else thinks. Mm. Like, that's up to you and what you think. But if I think that I can get somewhere by it, then I'm going to do it. Do you both want children? Yeah. Um. Well, I do, but I don't know if I can. You mean <laughs> physically or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you were to have children and you were to go to your first grader's career day, and you were to present to a bunch of first graders, how would you describe what you do to a bunch of first graders? Mm. Well, I don't done. think that I'll still be doing OnlyFans when I do have kids. I feel like that's something that I would stop before okay. I did have kids. Yeah. Just so like, it's not like, obviously like the internet is always going to be there. But The I internet is forever. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like it's something that I would stop before I did have children kind of thing. Can I ask approximately, I have no idea, how much money do you earn annually? Can, is that okay to ask? I'm um, just curious. So in the last six months, I've earned over $115,000. US dollars? Or um, a US. A US. So what yeah. is that conversion rate? Like 9, 80%? So right? like, yeah. So yeah. it was like- You can buy like a croissant or something with that. Yeah, exactly. No, I think it's 80,000 American, right? About? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. I think so. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, Okay. In six no. months? Yes. Six so months. you're projected to have like over 150, 180,000 by next year? Um, 160? Yeah. Okay. So 12 grand a month. Did you have more on that? No, I'm just, I'm, I just want to make sure everybody watching and you guys all think deeply about that and how men view 
not just OnlyFans culture, but you all said marriage, and some of you said marriage and kids is the most important thing, but far too often our actions and what we do every day is actually not getting us closer to our stated goal. Yeah. Mm. Well, you can say that to the subscribers too, who subscribe to their. Oh, don't! I mean, I think contribute that to their pockets, but that's what I mean. They, like, they should how, be. Shamed. How can we find um, husbands in our twenties, in our early twenties? I'm not in my early twenties, but how could we find husbands if they're busy subscribing to OnlyFans chicks? <laughs> yeah, well, not every man is, and that's sure. a really good question. So, where where did all the good men go? I talk about this in my book, actually. First piece of advice I have for young ladies is do not post suggestive material yourself online. Men want what they cannot see and cannot have. Mystery is lacking yeah. in the West. Mm -hmm. And I know this is lost on a lot of young ladies. They say, the more I post of myself on, you know, with a bikini on the beach, the more men will like you. No, I mean, the more they'll want to have sex with you, yeah. but then they'll look at you as just a visual or a commodity, not as a future soulmate. Mm -hmm. and the second part is, to be perfectly honest with you, religious men check a lot of the boxes that you guys are looking for. I know that. Would you agree with that? Yeah. That's why I feel, you, like, I feel like that's one reason why I was able to find men like that. It's because even though they weren't conservative, they still had very, very deep religious values. Can you tell me more? That's so interesting. Um, mainly Catholic. I'm also Catholic. Yeah. So, and they were, they believed in the God, right? They wanted to have a family. Yeah. They didn't necessarily like read the Bible word for word every day, but they like followed the Bible. So would you, would you say that's, if you're looking to find a man in the West and it's your number one priority, and you were given a random selection of a Catholic man or kind of a femboy atheist, you would take the Catholic? Yeah, I would. Would you? Uh, the Catholic, yes. I think okay. femboy atheist is so So funny. how many of you are then going to church actively trying to find a man? I mean, uh, I don't need to. I also... Well, I'm, I know, but... I didn't meet any of my boyfriends okay, in church. Okay, fair enough. And I feel like I wouldn't have, if I'm going to be honest. I feel like you can meet a really religious man outside of church. Fair enough, yeah. You just have to find where you guys both coincide. That's true. And, yeah. I got the library studying for your exams, for example. I actually recommend to my single friends to find men in the church because I agree. <laughs> usually stand up guys, typically. Yeah, and I mean, there's, there's exceptions to every rule. And so, my advice to my two Australian friends is that if you want the thing that is the most important thing to you, start making those decisions younger than older because you might end up be filled with a lot of money and a lot of regret. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from the whatever podcast. This was very, very informative. And I hope that these young ladies really, really evaluate their choices because as much as they want marriage at the end of the day, and as much as they are still into this only fan business, they are definitely drifting further and further away from getting their future husband because I don't even know that one man that will be proud to say my wife was once an OF model. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.